MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Seattle Mariners and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox attempt to break out the brooms in this three game series right after this. Colin McHugh will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Into the box now, Dom Thompson Williams. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does the team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Mariners center fielder now with a full count three balls and two strikes. Boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and the next thing you know this count stands at 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field ranging back is Bradley that one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. Well this has started off certainly quick. First batter of the game goes deep. Dare I say ambush tactics. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. McHugh has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Now another 0-2. He pulls this one into right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first that down. The right field, Mitch Hanniger. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. First offering on its way. Left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Dan Vogelbach is next. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. 
Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. Two out, nobody on. Two and two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. Bottom of the first coming up, it's 1-0 Seattle. Eric Swanson gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly he's over that. But this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. So stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. They lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous ten games. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four, you're just trying to salvage. Do the fundamental things right. Try and sneak out a couple wins, get on the plane, and get out of here. 0-2, oh the count to Benintendi. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Soft liner to the right side, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Digging in, Rafael Devers comes into this one, ranked number six in the American League home run race. You know, D.R., we're into the summer right now. This guy's power's been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. But this is a foul ball. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. to two balls and two strikes now. Three and two the count for Rafael Devers. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again so the count's gone from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. Benintendi on at first nobody out. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2 0. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2 0 on the way. 3 and 0 now. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Runners on first with one down. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Lewis is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping up to the plate, Xander Bogarts. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Bogarts takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. Yeah. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Long has a play and that's the third out. Red Sox leave one. They still trail one nothing. All set for the start of the inning and into bat next the third baseman Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Well, today's game provides the Red Sox with the chance to complete a series sweep, guys. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. Now the 2-1. Swing and a soft liner, and this will be no problem over at third, and there's the first down. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Shed Long. Striding into the box, Shed Long. First offering on its way. And they were able to put up double digits in the runs column yesterday, so a similar performance from the lineup would give them a good chance at least at a series sweep. No doubt about it, Matt. They say often that hitting is contagious, and they hope that carries over. It's not easy to have double-digit knocks in a game, and they're hoping they can break out that ammunition again today. Very high, 2-1. and one. The Bo Sox had a lot of success at the plate yesterday, a double-digit hit total as a team, so they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. When you're playing as well as this team is right now, they've got them right where they want them. They're only down one early in this one, and when you've won a couple of games in a row already, you have that feeling you can certainly come back and win this one. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fouled off. 
going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. There's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. In now, Austin Nola. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the stretch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. As a look, now the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Nola, a native of Louisiana, the Bayou State, is currently third in the league amongst catchers in all star fan balloting. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote. And he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the midsummer class. Well, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, D-Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. And he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Benintendi is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Got it done. Standing in, Kyle Lewis. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he lays off there. 1-0. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Fly ball out toward left center field. Chasing after it is Bradley. He can't get there as it falls in. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. In now, Dom Thompson Williams. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. The 1 0 delivery. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Two and one count now to the Mariners leadoff batter has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And he fouls this one off. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. The 3 2 pitch he is swung on and missed strike three. Mariners forced to settle for one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mariners two and the Red Sox nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up our former gold lover the first baseman Mitch Moreland. Hey we're still in the early stages of this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's the first pitch to him. 
and a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Looking up is Hanniger. And that is into the visitors' bullpen a home run. Mitch Moreland with a solo home run. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Red Sox are on the board. It's now 2-1. to one. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Into the box now, Clint Frazier. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 0 1 on its way. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. So here's Michael Chavis now. As he'll take a look at ball one, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And not a real good cut at that one, slider, two. and he's behind one and two. Now here it comes. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Wind up and the 0 1. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pops this one up. Vogelback has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The count now at two and two. The pitch. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Wow, that was a pretty good two strike slider right there. I think that would fool them and the umpire, too. Now, here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Once again, a 3 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving Chase his Hediger. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Top of the third set to get underway. And standing in is the DH, Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Fouled away. Again, a one two. Ball two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And with one gone, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red now Sox that. place in Wait. the American League East. So striding forward now, Mitch Hanniger. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Running up. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Pitch on the way. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready for another chance? Daniel Vogelback. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. The 1-0. Shoots this one over to first. Moreland is there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. As they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Bottom of the third now. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Bradley, or JBJ as the initials read. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push. Here's another one, too. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and won the count. 
he's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to first, and there were two down. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No, that missed. That's the ball. After watching that one go by and a ball one being ball. called, right. you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 1 0. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Red Sox go down 1 2 3. They still trail it here 2 to 1. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Digging in to try it again. Kyle Seeger hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First offering on its way. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. A ball and a strike. One and one. The 1 1 home. In tight with the slider, 2 and 2. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Time now for the Red Sox road to the show report as we get a look at two guys making some noise in the upper minors. Whoa. At the plate now, Shed Long. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Six home runs and 21 driven in. The pitch. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. One and two. One and two is the count. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now at the plate, Austin Nola, a base hit in his first trip. Pitch on the way. On the ground to the right side. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mariners are down in order. They lead it two to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the veteran DH, J.D. Martinez. First pitch coming, here it is. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Coming in is Hanniger, but he won't get there. It falls in. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A-B. Here's Xander Bogarts now, as he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's running. He swings and misses. Throw down. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Well, I'm not sure if he was going on his own or if that came from the dugout, but either way, he didn't give himself much of a chance with the lead he took. A bigger lead, and maybe he's in there safe. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Moreland. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homer his first time around. The last at that, Nettie D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And he takes this one high, one and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Red Sox go down quietly. They're down 2-1. Into the box, J.P. Crawford. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Hard hit ball to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Stepping into the box, Kyle Lewis looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here's the pitch. One and out. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left hander and a right hander begin to throw. Fifth inning, two to one our score. A two and zero oh count to the Mariners' left fielder. Outside and low, 3-0. and oh. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. Comes with a slider, 3-0, and oh, but gets it over for strike one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 oh and turned to the slider? You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The 3-1. 
And he swung on and missed a full count now. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. To the plate now, Dom Thompson Williams. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Pulled high in the air out to right field, giving chase his Benintendi. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They still lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, Clint Frazier, Leading as they'll look to get Four something left going left here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first Frazier. offering. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled off. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Another 0 2 home. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Lifted in the air to center. Thompson Williams is right there, one down. Riding in once again, Michael Chavis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the pitch. Deha. No one one. The wind up and the 0 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. One out, nobody on. Lays off the change up, and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three one pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. Fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate, Francisco Cervelli. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thompson Williams will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. Our score remains two to one. Josh Taylor takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 72. Josh Taylor. New inning set to get underway and striding forward the designated hitter Carlos Gonzalez. From the stretch here's the pitch belted high in the air out to left a ball that's carrying 
On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now bad. The right Mitch hand. Hanniger the next to bat. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through it. One strike. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. The 0 1 pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Danny won't go after the cut fastball. Two and two. Two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. In now, Daniel Vogelback as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No hits to this point. Here it comes. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Mariners are down in order as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Junior. Lays off one and oh. Right. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. The one two. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The right fielder, number 16, Andrew. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the exciting left handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Just keeping him close. Nobody out, runner on first. A bouncer up the middle, reined in. The second for one, on to first to complete the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. 
Digging in, Rafael Devers. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. Popped him up. Nola is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. They still trail it here 2 to 1. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in is the veteran third baseman Kyle Seeger. First offering on its way and a curveball drops in there for strike one. Like that pitch there lefty on lefty matchup curveball away to a lefty smart pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Seeger will make the turn for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, Shed Long. A ball and no strikes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. at that one it's a cold strike one on one just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two hey it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone it'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches the one two is outside for a ball. This one's down to third. And that's out number one. Settling in now, Austin Nova. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch Correct. on the ground for the shortstop Bogarts fielded cleanly on to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. The Into the box now, J.P. Crawford trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel, 2-1 to one our score. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. The set and the 1 1. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control 1 and 2. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard row 17 inches.
Here's the one two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two two. The set and the two two. Outside and a full count three and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Looked like he might have got squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Striding in, Kyle Lewis, a hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Man, the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. The 1 0. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Mariners two and the Red Sox one. Taylor Williams gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Taylor Williams. Last half of the seventh here and stepping in the long ball threat, J.D. Martinez. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The one and oh delivery. This one skied out toward right. Hanniger in pursuit. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Xander Bogarts. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Bullet back up the middle. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at-bat at a time. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. From the belt, the pitch. Williams. A native of Washington, the Evergreen State. He was a fourth round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two.
inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Williams has thrown a little over 50 innings and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. The one two hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit the heart of the zone. So no harm done, force out anywhere now. So striding in, Clint Frazier, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Outside, 3-0 and now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. A high fastball is in there. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout. So that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Austin Adams will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 63, Austin Adams. Into the box now. Michael Chavis as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike oh for two for him to this point comes set the 0 1 ball that's high. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They're down 2 1. Heath Hembry has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off the inning, Dom Thompson Williams as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. He's set and the pitch. behind 0 and 2 now Hembry was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander and another foul ball the next 0 2 
And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is. And, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So now to the plate, Carlos Gonzalez. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. The Red Sox are looking for the sweep in this game as we mentioned earlier but trailing by one they're going to need to come from behind to do it. This one's still well in striking distance only trailing by one going late on to the game. They just need a bloop and a blast or some kind of extra base hit. This one's far from over. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now, back. now to the plate, what? Mitch Hanniger. He went yeah. down on strikes last yeah. time up. Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1 home down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Outside in a full count, three and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They lead it two to one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that will bring up the right handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. Francisco Cervelli. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One and no pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. High in the air out to center field. Thompson Williams is there and he has it for the first out. Down Digging down. in Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah guys everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan you can certainly attest to this only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. 
three balls. Our no pitcher's strikes. duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he pops him up back behind second base. Seeger moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. The 1 0 home. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Good. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Rafael Devers the next to bat. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Here's J.D. Martinez as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. Our score remains two to one. Tyrone Taylor stays in the game after pinch hitting, and he'll be patrolling right field. Number 15. John Gant enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and next the dangerous power threat, Daniel Vogelback. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The wind up and the 0 1. He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Pitch on the way. Right. 
One and two to count. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Still a ball and two strikes. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now, Shed Long. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ball misses nope. inside. It's even at one. One one. Hit to first. Moreland's there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. They still lead it two to one. Matt McGill comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 51, Matt McGill. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Xander Bogart. Shortstop, Xander Bogart. First pitch on its way. One and out. The 1-0. -oh. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Drilled right back up the middle. He's got it. On to first, and that is a huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. Digging in once again, Mitch Moreland. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First pitch coming, here it is. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2 and 1 now. Now, a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Count remains two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here now the two two. On the ground and right at the shifted infielder. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Into the box, Clint Frazier. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. From the belt, the pitch. That missed. That's the ball. One out, one on, and a one-run game. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. 2-0 oh is the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. and one.
And he fouls this one off. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home, and he missed with it. Ball four, so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Stepping in, Michael Chavis. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. From the stretch. That's the ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. A 1 0 delivery. I uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's 1 and 1 now. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. One and two now. That was an excellent pitch right there. After going soft away, he pounds hard in, and that's a nice pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. At the plate, Francisco Cervelli. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's the last chance with the tying and winning runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. Comes set, the 0 1. No, that's not. And this is high, a ball and a strike. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Makes the catch, and the Mariners will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second and the winning run helplessly at first. Could have gone either way. But we were treated to a great battle. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. Seattle jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Eric Swanson earns his fifth winner of the year. Matt McGill wraps it up for the save his 12th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show nation .com.